Hello everyone, it's been a while. Since it has been a while and there have been so many updates, I decided to start a new hardcore series. Let's start the world. It may take a while. So we are in a jungle area. First things first, I need to gather some wood and make some wood tools. Let's speed it up a little bit since it's so slow. Some sticks are required and here goes the pickaxe. Of course, I get double of them. Here, digging took quite a while. I mean, stone shouldn't be that low. And after collecting three, I made a stone pickaxe and continued from there. Since I need some furnaces and some other tools, I will need a lot of stone actually. And it's done. Here goes the X. This time only one. Now I started chopping the tree, but since it's such a big tree, I couldn't chop it all down, so I chopped the bottom ones. Now, since I have a ton of food. I will make the other tools and of course, yes, I did a ton of axes. I haven't played for a while so I guess that's pretty normal. Now since I only need a couple, two should be good. But also since I used all of my stone, I need some more to make some furnaces. Here goes the shovel. And some furnaces for the future, of course. Now, since I don't have a food source, I decided to just get some melons. You never know when you are gonna need them. But some protein might be better, so I decided to chop some animals. Some flint for flint and steel and above since there is some water and I decided to mine a couple of coals but after starting it didn't end I mean you know the core colors they don't end after that I found the azalea tree and decided to just dig down since there might be a cave but unfortunately I couldn't find anything so I decided to continue my journey. I found the ring portal which is a good start but since I don't have an iron pickaxe I couldn't get the gold. The loots were okay. I mean I took the flint and steel and there were some iron medals. Which then I used to make an iron ingot and then a shield. And yes, it's been quite a while, I even forgot how to make a shield, but now I am basically invisible. I needed some wool to pass the night, and since I acquired that, I am pretty safe, I guess. And yes, you can try to sleep underwater and it will totally work, and also since there are no Drones is actually easier. I basically collected everything I can find. I found some iron, which unfortunately isn't enough to make an iron pickaxe, but now it is. I smelted them basically, and after that, I was ready to make an iron pickaxe. This time I only made one. <laughs> there were a ton of gold 
iron and especially redstone i guess i am in a good spot after acquiring enough iron i made some armor pieces and a bucket now that i have a bucket i can turn it into a water bucket and i won't die from falling I mean that's a pretty good start for a hardcore series and yes that's my first time in the series it's always such an excitement let's see how many are there one okay two just one more and i can make a pickaxe Unfortunately, no. Yeah, pretty sad. Fortunately, I found some more diamonds, and this time it was quite a lot. I also found some more iron, which is always good, and even more diamonds. I am pretty chilling with diamonds right now, and some more. After making a diamond pickaxe, I can now mine down the obsidian for making a ring portal or enchanting table. I will need them in the future, but not right now. Just, just fall in, fall in, yes. I found even more diamonds and even more and since I have a ton I can make a diamond chest plate and even a diamond legging now I am pretty good actually but that was a close call if I didn't have diamond armor I ha would have been done and yes, I am down to half a heart. That's why you need a lot of food. Since I used all my meat, I have to eat the melons. I said that I will need them. You never know. And after eating a ton of resources, I decided to get out and start another journey find a place to build my base i am basically looking for a ocean because i am planning on building a ton of farms near it i also need a village so i am basically looking for an ocean which is close to a village whenever you see a fire you have to stop it or it will lag a lot also we don't want the trees to burn down so I cleared everything, all the fire and it's safe now. I continued my journey on a lot of biomes but even though I am in a good biome I couldn't find any minecars unfortunately. So I continued in my search of an ocean. This one was a great candidate. And after going for a while, yes, that's a great ocean. So I just looked everywhere, looted everything. Armor trims are pretty new for me, so it's always exciting to find them i stopped at the coastlines and walked to the inside so i can find the village but unfortunately i couldn't so i made the brush which is also pretty new i haven't used it before so i am pretty excited to use it Another ring portal, this time I can take the gold out. I mean, mending is okay, I guess. 
another shipwreck, some more cost armor trim, another one, and buried treasure is always my favorite. That was a good passage. Now, that's my first time ever using a brush. I couldn't even find where to use it, but suspicious scrabble it is, I guess. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything useful. Another fire, so I had to stop it. This one was a lot harder, but it's all done. Another ruin portal, this time underwater. I'm still looking for a base, by the way, but it's taking quite a while. Some more shipwrecks, I don't even need anything anymore. And then I saw a village. And that's where the journey ends. I can create my base. I can trade with the villagers. And that's all I have right now. So I started the basic base. Basically four stone pillars. And a roof on top of it. This will be my base. Some chests because I have a ton of items on me and some on the boat too. Getting on top and I can put the roof now after crafting them of course. I mean yeah, that looks like a base. I didn't have enough so I had to make some adjustments. Here was the chest, furnaces and bed, the most important one. I didn't like the place so I changed it. And some torches so no stone spawn. So the creeper I couldn't sleep because of it. So here comes our legendary fight. Since I am in the water, I couldn't run away and everything exploded. I couldn't feel everything since I don't have much sense, but that looks okay for now. And now I can sleep in my beautiful base. Thanks for watching, see you next time.